We've previously released a video showing you how to keep your grow room warm during the colder winter months, a critical consideration that will help save crops. Due to recent changes in technology and economics greatly impacting the industry, it now seems prudent to provide updated guidance. The biggest continuing trend amongst growers is the move to LED lights from HPS systems. Some LEDs can save you hundreds of pounds in running costs over a year, but they do produce a lot less heat. Whilst you'll find this to be an excellent bonus during the summer, throughout winter it might become increasingly difficult to maintain optimum grow room temperatures. So what's our advice if you're running LEDs and have a hard time keeping the grow room warm? Before reaching for an extra radiator or something similar, try adding CDM lights between existing fixtures. These give off a nice amount of heat, cost less to operate, and also broaden your spectrum, introducing incredibly beneficial and quality boosting UV. The rest of our advice is applicable to all types of lighting. The focus now shifts to temperature management with cost cutting opportunities. Where and when possible, we recommend running your equipment at night. Such action prevents any significant temperature drop from occurring at this time and you get to enjoy reduced costs thanks to the cheaper UK nighttime energy tariff. There's also then a lower heat level to target during the day, around 22 degrees C, since plants will be asleep, meaning room warmers don't need to work as hard or for as long, again, saving money. You should always have a temperature and humidity meter in place to closely track and accurately assess your grow room conditions. Otherwise, how else will you know what is going on? Options range from a basic monitor that shows readings via a screen to a clever device that sends info directly to your phone. Hooking up a heater to an automated thermostat that turns it on when the temperature gets too low and off when the temperature gets too high helps to create a consistent and stable environment and reduces the usage and expense of the heater by limiting runtime. Simple yet effective. One of these products would definitely be a part of our shopping list. Space permitting, consider bringing externally located heat emitting grow gear into your room. For example, if you've got an LED and you've removed the driver so that it's outside of your growing area, bring it back into the growing area. The same can be said for the ballast of HPS and CDM systems. Look to bring air into your grow room from another indoor location. This stops your heaters from having to work harder to counter cold air brought in from outside. Plus, lived in indoor air has more CO2 present, which will aid your plants. Get your plants off the floor to stop warmth being sapped away from around the root zone. This is easily done by placing pots on upturned garland trays to establish a buffer. Floor material matters here, just think about concrete versus carpet, not that we'd ever suggest growing on the latter. Likewise, if you're using a tent, its base provides an extra layer of protection. Speaking of cold garages, make sure your nutrients and boosters are stored correctly. If you leave certain bottled liquids in unsuitable conditions, some of the elements may crystallize. When you mix up your next batch, these won't be available to your plants, wasting the money spent. To ensure this doesn't happen to you, store in a location out of direct sunlight, where the temperature sits between 10 and 19 degrees C. Hydro growers should also consider using a nutrient heater to ensure nutrient solutions stay between 18 and 21 degrees C eliminating cold water shock for your plants and guaranteeing maximum nutrient effectiveness. That concludes our video on preparing for winter. Obviously not all of these tips apply to everybody, but hopefully we've laid the groundwork to continue getting results out of your LEDs and to reduce your reliance on power hungry heaters. If you have any questions about growing in winter, ask them down below in the comments and we'll do our best to help. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like and subscribe to the Grow World YouTube channel for more growing content.